Hello, hello, it's Tamplet here. Welcome to part 3 of 25 of the College Entrance Test Review. Credits to the Review Masters for providing me with these items. To continue, item 9, which of the following has the lowest value? So we have four values which are all written a little bit different. Some are in fractions, in decimals, in frat percent. So we, we want to uh, convert everything into a similar form. So let's convert 0.2 to 2 over 10. Uh, we can put it in lowest term, it's going to be 1 fifth. And let's convert 10% to a fraction, so let's divide it by 100, and we simplify this to be 1 tenth. So, B, uh, answer B would be 1 fifth quantity squared, and then answer D is already in lowest term, so 1 tenth. So, 1 fifth uh, squared, that's equal to 1 over 25. And comparing B and C, B is obviously lower, and then A is already out of the question, because A is 3 eighths, that's pretty big. So we know the answer is uh, not C. The answer is not A. So we're, co we're left to compare B and D. Now, D has a denominator of 10. So 1 tenth is going to be greater than 1 over 25 for sure. So just by cancellation, we can conclude that answer B is the correct answer. For the next item, which of the following has the largest value? So we have four values here. And I guess it's pretty trivial for us to say the answer is, is letter C. Just in case you guys want to check, you can obviously compare when you fill in the other uh, missing digits. So replace all of them by zero and then just compare. Or uh, we can hide this part and then just compare which is the largest. Is it 700, 770, 777, or just 77? And obviously, you'll be able to answer that this is largest. Hence, our answer here should be C. For item 11, we can use the following uh, exponent trick. Uh, right off the bat, we can already eliminate these two since 9 squared and 9 to the 4th both have a factor of 3, while this given does not. So we can use the fact that 4 squared times 5 squared, they both have an exponent of 2. So we can use the fact that we can multiply the two bases. So 4 times 5 quantity squared. So we expect the answer to be a perfect square, and we can obviously see that 400 is a perfect square, while 200 doesn't have a, uh, an exact square root. So we can conclude that C is wrong. Now just to prove ourselves correct, let's just see. 4 times 5 is 20. So 20 squared, that's indeed 400. For item 12, which of the following has the greatest value? So three values are given in as fractions, and we have a, an ugly decimal. And this doesn't really seem to have a very nice representation. But we can just make the analysis that 0 0.675, that's obviously less than 0. 75 and then 0 0.75 has a nice fraction which is 3 over 4 now recall that 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.25 0 0.50 and 0 0.75 are of the form something over 4 in fact um, 0 0.75 is 3 fourths so we're asked for the greatest we can already eliminate answer D so all we have to do is just compare these three now, a very simple trick is to multiply these three by the LCD. So we can just uh, multiply three times, we can already just multiply uh, three times eight times four to each of these fractions. So we can multiply their LCD. So we don't, we don't need to get LCD, just multiply it by three times eight times four um, to help us uh, remove the denominator. And then we compare the values. So if I do that, the first one, two thirds times three times eight times four, can cancel out the 3, so it's just 2 times 8 times 4. We can work out the maths. Three, eight, sorry, 8 times 4 is 32, so this is 64. For, in the second, I can cancel the 8. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 times 4, it's going to be 60. In the last one, I can cancel out the 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 8, that gives me 72. So out of these 3, uh, 72 is the largest, and we can conclude that 3 fourths is indeed the largest out of the 3. Since uh, answer D is already crossed out, we can cross out the remaining uh, A and Bs. So we can conclude that answer C is the answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in part 4. Bye-bye!